Welcome back to a new tutorial series on Recycle View. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to implement a search view in your action bar so that you can find an item in your list in the Recycle View. And if you click on this search icon, so if I search an item in the list, for example, United Kingdom, as you can see, we were able to filter out all the car views in the Recycle View. And if you click on the item, as you can see, a toast message has been appeared. And if you want to go back to the original list, you can just click on this X button so that you get your original list so without further ado let's get started all right guys in the previous video i showed you how to implement a recycler view and how to create a car view and pass it to the recycler adapter class where we can keep recycle the car view that we have for the list of the items so if you do not know how to implement a recycler view please watch the previous video prior to this one but in this video i will only show you how to implement a search view in your action bar so to do that you need to create a vector asset for your search icon first in your drawable folder so right click on that and then new and then click on vector asset and if you want to change this icon just go to clip art and click on this and then look for search and this would work fine and click on ok and you can rename the file so we will keep it up to there and the color is white if you have black you can just change the color by clicking on this so click white and then click on next and then finish so now you have a search icon in your drawable folder and then you need to create android resource directory here in your resource folder so right click on that then new then Android resource directory and change this to menu and change the type to menu as well and click on OK. So once you have your menu directory, you need to create a menu XML file. Right click on this and then new and then menu resource file and name your file. So main underscore menu and click on OK. So once you have this, you need to split your screen so that you write your code here. And the first thing you need to add an item in your menu. So item and then you need to provide an ID to it. So the ID is action search and the title would be um, search and you need to import your icon from drawable so drawable icon underscore search and then you need to show as action and that would be always and then you need to have a collapse action view and lastly you need to import your search view widget so app and then action view class and that would be widget dot search view and once you have done that you need to close the tag and that's it for menu dot xml file all right so once you have our menu dot xml file ready you need to go to main activity and then you need to go to the bottom of on create method and in here you need to override on create option menu function so on create option menu and before the return you need to inflate our menu.xml file so let's do that menu inflator and then dot inflate and then you need to import our menu.xml file from resource directory and then menu folder and then we have main menu and then do not forget to pass menu object to it so we have it here and now we need to get the id of the accent search for our search icon so var item and then the type of this is menu item and this equal to menu and then you need to check if it's not null so find item and then read resources.id.action search and it's good practice if we check for item is not null so not null and then put everything here so var search view and this would equal to item object and then we look for action view and this would be as search view and once you have casted this object to a search view type you need to set on query text listener to this object so that whenever the user keep typing this method will be called so search view dot set on query text listener and then you need to pass an object so object and the tab is search view so on query text listener and then open this and then you have an error because you need to implement some members and these two functions need to be imported so click on ok once you have these two functions you need to return true for this one so return true and most of the logic should be on query text change so this is really important because whenever the user keeps typing this method is being called all the time so you need to remove this and you need to check if this new text is not empty so if new text is not empty so if it's not empty you need to call display list and then clear every item in the list and then you need to store the text that the user typed in the search view so var search and then this would equal to new text and then you need to cast it to lowercase and then local 
dot get default and this is where you will store your text in a lowercase in this variable and now we need to iterate through the list of the country that we have to see if we can find what we have typed in the search view so for country in country list and we are iterating through the country list that we have and we need to check if country dot to lowercase and then local dot get default and then we need to call contains function and then pass the search to it and if so we need to call display list the one that we just cleared out and then we need to add the country that we have found so add and then this would be country. And if the country does not exist, the one that we tagged, we will get an empty list. And if the user deleted everything, which means the text that we have passed is empty, we need to get an else statement here. And the else statement, we need to call display a list and then clear everything out. And then we need to add all the countries that we have in the display list so that we will show the original list when the user deletes everything out from the search view. So display list and then add all and then pass country list to it. And then we need to notify recycler view adapter that a change has happened here and there. So if the country has been found, you need to call recycler view and then adapter and then check if it's not empty and then notify data set changed. And you need to copy this and paste it here once the user clears everything out. And the reason that you have an error here because we need to return true because this function expect us to return boolean. So this is it. And to see the result, we need to run our app. And as you can see, we have an error. And if you click on run to see what is wrong with this, and apparently app compact widget search view cannot be found. So to solve this problem, you need to go all the way up and you need to update this to Android X and then app compact and then widget dot search view. So this should solve the problem. So let's run our app. All right. So as you can see, we have no problem. Our app is running. And if you click on this search icon, now you can search for a name. So India, as you can see, things are running perfectly. And if you click on this, you get this message as well. And if you click on this close button, everything will go back to the original list. All right, guys, we have done it. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to build mobile applications, web development and programming tutorials in general, please consider subscribing and click on the bell notifications so that you do not miss on anything. So see you guys in the next video and happy coding.